And it's an intriguing time for both these teams. I feel like Team Liquid, this is the first time they've ever really began to have some real pressure put on. That, that W word, world, has just mm. been mentioned recently. They are going to make it to the major. That means they're a proper team now. These three youngsters are going to be having expectancy put upon them, but you're going to come up against teams that have their own expectancies. Ivan gives EG an early lead. I mean, a team that's already experienced a major is Evil Geniuses. They were oh. over in uh, in Los Angeles. He managed to... Semper is going to be potentially huge with that long slog towards Worlds. That's what all these teams really want to do. The majors are but pit stops. They won't feel like that at the time, but certainly where they want to be is over in America. When Worlds happens, Catalyst is giving EG a better chance with the double tap. Ivan doubles up. You mentioned Worlds as well, Cole, where... If they do manage to win this one, they will then have 10 points more than Semper across the entirety of this season so far. It's so close. Genuinely, every... Towards the next season, they're still involved on the pitch with something of their own fate in their own hands, and they're making it work. His castle isn't trying to get in the way of a chronic. Uh, Liquid are somewhat falling apart, 3-0. Yeah, that patience from Catalyst. Look at him wait, just in the midfield. Sees that Chronic is awkward, makes him try and fly in front of it, and lets him burn all of that boost so Catalyst has that completely free open shot on the net. It's exactly what he needed to do with three goals up in 90 seconds. Liquid, not the start that they would want. As you say, Cole, they're coming down. For a pun, and I'm well and truly on board, so keep those coming, everybody. As Atai puts that one towards Oski. Atai was on two points until about 20 seconds ago, so barely got involved at all. EG is still passing it all the way around the Liquid defense. I don't know what's happening right now. The, the offense was touted from Liquid, and Stacks are saying that I don't know if EG can deal with it. Or well, how about with an unreal amount of, of, of offense themselves? Why can't they just shoot? Why can't they just go for these passes and try and trick out that defense on Liquid? It's 4-0 already in two minutes. Liquid. You're looking at game one and thinking, practice, okay? Yeah. Fine. This is a continuation of the losing streak, but don't worry. We're good. You don't want to be thinking that, though. Not with still two minutes and 55 seconds left in the first game. This might get them on the scoreboard. That's uh -huh. how just wait to shepherd it in. But Oski is there with the goal. Yeah, so I've been sending it long when there wasn't really anybody to follow up on that. And then he misses that second touch, leaving it fully to Oski to get it in. Manages to go crossbar down as well. And as he sent it again, Oski going for two very tight, close 50s. Good pressure now, starting to fall from Liquid. It's something that Stax, as I said earlier, was really talented, making sure that we are fully aware that it's happening. And a shot from Catalyst will be sending it into the blue half. That's great there from Evil Genius, as Liquid were stepping up, and Catalyst, right. I would say their star man. He is just a player capable of breaking through these uh, rugged defenses that they come up against. He's the one that they look to to get themselves a goal when they need it. And there he was again. I mean, it's nothing particularly... Capitalism has been everywhere on the offense. Uh, with five goals well in total for uh, EG, it now falls down to that very, very much do or die. A miss oh in the midfield of Chronic. He went up and there was no contact made on the ball. A long shot, finding net. Mate, this is how I felt watching EU at the LA Major, where everything they're doing, <laughs> you're just thinking, why did you do that? I want you to win, not lose. <laughs> but of course, I want either of these teams to win. But I, yeah, right. But where everything they're doing, you're just thinking, why did you do that? I want you to win, not lose. <laughs> but of course, I want either of these teams to win. But I, yeah, right. But I certainly want a better standard of Rocket League than what we're seeing right now. And Team Liquid are in need of a bit of a telling off, I think. There you go, again. A goal, an easy goal, makes it 2-6 as far as Liquid are concerned from the kickoff. There is time! 1 minute 34. Mm -hmm. I know I sort of rip on casters trying to build up the fact that a team could come into it and they couldn't. But four goals in a minute and 34 from Liquid and they've done so perfectly. With 15 seconds left, the game is gone. Evil Geniuses take it, potentially 7-2. to two. Go on. Taking Please. it low as well, which is just mean. You could have just hit that Ivan, but it burns a couple more seconds off the clock. And yeah, as I said, they have played it wonderfully. They shut down Liquid in their own half. A couple of times when Liquid did get goals is when EG overextended and they weren't defending that back line. It was two long shots that ultimately found their way in. But when they had pressure on them, EG held incredibly firmly. Yeah, their intelligent players are unable to defeat teams that aren't playing well. It's maybe they just don't have that spark, that piece of magic when they're up against a team that are defending well. When a team's defending like Team Liquid, Evil Geniuses, they can just happily score goal after goal 
punish them for those mistakes, for those over. With a double tap over, Cataclysm has to dive back and save that one away. The zero boost, though, he's trying to go for the 50 with Atto, who telepathically seemed to know he was awkward and low on boost, and Oski with a boomer from the midfield. Lovely finish there from Oski, and that will be an important goal for him. Cataclysm was met by Atto, who was doing some brilliant shadow defense, turned at the perfect time, those 1v1 skills coming in clutch from him right there. And then Oski bullets it home to give Liquid their lead. They uh, really needed not just to score, to stop the rock, to give them spike, kill it though. Rizek, oh, he's underneath the ball. Ivan's in front of him. Oski's oh. going to hit the corner. It's still staying up. Team Liquid just can't kill this second game. Maybe this is the moment they do. Atto gets the touch, gets the second Whoa. one. It's still up. Oh. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. People genius with these demos starting to really trouble Liquid. Good touch from Catalyst and wants to get it past Atto. Oski is there. Ivan goes to the ceiling. Wants to get a second touch. Can he time his pre-flip? Not quite, but he does fall on it. Oh, Oski with a great reflex touch, but it's only high uh, towards Catalyst. Evil geniuses, they just work that ball forwards until it can't be saved anymore. Smothering Liquid as much as they could. And Oski, credit to him, he had to do something. Otherwise, another player was going to be getting that goal. Reflex. Evil geniuses. He had to do something. He sent it high. It ends up being a pass. It could have gone to the corner. It should have gone to the corner. But in the end, Evil Genius's pressure, it does reward them massively. The Evil Genius's squeeze was in full effect right there. But they're trying to show their fancy mechanics to get themselves an equalizer straight away. Is that so? waiting for his opponent Ivan to come in. Then he gets the pass into the center, oh, and Oski oh. bundles it home. Yeah, managing to follow that ball up is exactly the play that he had to go for. Look at Atto just get Rizek onto that backboard, draws him low, and then between him and a chronic, we need to a goal just yet, but Atto up high onto the backboard, Catalyst to clear that one away. One all as we approach two minutes left in this third game. <gasps> a chronic of Oh my oh, goodness! Double! Oh, chronic! Wow, that was so good. Oski gets to touch it and watch a chronic. He's already up in the air, uses his dodge late, then follows it up for the double. Oh, he got bumped high. Day. Oh. He, got, he got bumped high, and that's why he still had his dodge. He landed, got bumped, dodged into that ball, then gets a double off the backboard. Mind-bendingly, world-breakingly excellent. <laughs> oh, that was so lovely. A sight to behold right there. And then Catalyst just times and dodge <laughs> to bring us all back down to Earth and say, look, they all mean the same thing. Yeah, I mean, it was Atto getting a pretty terrible clear away, seeing as Catalyst had already turned on the wall as well. That was a time where the play should have been slowed again. Get Atto to bring that one low, wait for his teammates to get this series. An evil genius is just waiting for those moments, trying to force it when they have to, and timing it excellently usually. Akron gets a couple of touches. Catalyst is already up. Oski, look at the pace that he shows to beat him. Sadly for Liquid, only falls to Rizek, who's coming forward. Gets a lovely little air dribble over the top, then brings the ball brilliant. down. And brilliant. Catalyst, it's like the return in the favor, the easy goal for Catalyst this time. Just a brilliant play from Rizek. Goes over the top of Atto, and then 50s with Akronix so perfectly that Catalyst would have to try his hardest to miss his way. It's a good linking play, though, from Oski there. Ivan gets there next. Oski beats him again, and Atto always missed it. Catalyst might be able to get an easy one here. Ivan tries to see it home. Oh, I don't think I haven't quite had the read, but it doesn't matter. That was uh, just a, a, an utterly stupid double tap. Why was that not just on target originally? I will <laughs> never know. But Catalyst is able to get the double away. <laughs> Clearing evil geniuses by two goals as well. 4-2 now, Evil Geniuses just turning against one of the most tested defenses in European Rocket League. Evil Geniuses not giving them even a sniff of an opportunity. Any team left in this tournament can play from a couple of goals up. You just know it's going to be them. Again, the fakes. Catalyst is left the ball by his teammate and just bullets it. Evil Geniuses are in full swing right now. Five goals to two, Evil Geniuses shutting down this third game, putting them ahead in the series as well. Completely did not care that Akronix styled on them to an unbelievable level earlier on. It is a sick thing, in fact. Nearly equaling the 7-2 that we saw them win by in game number one as well. Liquid have allowed five or more goals in a game, four time this season, Stumpy, and three mm -hmm. of those were against evil geniuses. And two no. of them were in this series. And two have been in this series. Wow, yeah, okay. So Evil Genius is starting to emerge. Mm -hmm. Three of those were against Evil Geniuses. And two no. of them were in this series. And two have been in this series. Wow, yeah, okay. So Evil Genius is starting to emerge as something of a bogey team. 
for Team Liquid right now because everybody else is absolutely... Look at EG go! I love that! Hey, it's oh, you're as well. kidding! <laughs> Another 7-2. This was so close until about 1 minute 40 left. And then EG win it 7-2. That's just not allowed. 1 minute 40 left. And then EG win it 7-2. That's just not allowed. That's how it happens, mate. That's how it happens. If you start to... Atto's uh... gone again. He's getting the Batmobile out. It's yes. time. Yes! It's time. Not an offensive team. They typically win with their incredible defense. With the fact that they have that amazing back line where they allow a lot of shots, sure, but they're also second oh. in their save percentages. Liquid, they get one now. They are going against that defense. But I just always come back to the point of, EG, does that goal even matter in their heads? It won't matter to their heads, but what it will matter to, Stumpy, is Team Liquid. Any goal that they get, they are just craving seeing those butterflies flying out the goal instead of being in their stomach because they've been playing with nerves. You know, for the first time, as we mentioned, they suddenly have the World Championship, not in their own hands, but it's, it's something of a tangible opportunity. And I'm wondering if this performance is because that is just somewhat there in their heads. They have to play with freedom and fun. And those pre-jumps they're going for were great earlier on, but it's in defense. We're evil geniuses. You're right, Stumpy. They just, they don't care that they've conceded. I'm so sorry, Ivan. I'm not going to talk about your goal. I oh. just want to really cover the point, Carl, where you said that, well, you, you can learn to deal with literally all of those things. And Liquid being here, being in the conversation, considering the utterly disastrous teams, rosters that Liquid have fielded in the past, I'm just so happy to see them be here competitive. And Evil Geniuses, regardless, are going to win this game 7-2. Atto, <laughs> sorry, I just caught what you said. We'll see if that's the case. I mean, it's only 2-1 with 2 minutes and 20 seconds left, and that is more. We said that with one minute. That one up high, as high as he can. Also, an Atto with an unnecessary double come in. That's going to waste some boost and slow down this attack right now. Atto's going to go for a double tap here. He's probably going to get it as well. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I mean, we're talking about solidity, but EG have mechanics of their own. Oh, big time. It was a lovely pass from Rizik. Sends it high, and nobody on Liquid challenging that until Atto tries to find his way to that ball, going up completely vertically. One of the hardest times to hit the ball above your own net. There's so many obstacles in the way. I think they always have a player in support as well. Whenever they make a touch, there is an Evil Genius player there, whether they're doing a half rotation or just hovering on the walls, knowing where this clearance is going to come, able to complete the transition, and it just completely kills every team liquid attack. Their own, but that was a great save. Yeah, just up early, doing exactly what we uh, mentioned Chronic was doing earlier on, getting up as soon as he could to try and clear away that ball. But Ivan working oh, around oh. the side. It just looked routine for him, that final man from Liquid, pushing up so far. And Catalism going low on that ball because he sees that Ivan is there to clear it away. That extra touch, brilliant pass off from Catalism, the jive in from that third man. And that is the 18th goal scored. The evil genius. Oh, oh, almost. Good effort. It felt like it could be. That zero boost almost felt like, you know, the the the, 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 the deja vu of first killer at LAN previously Ooh. where he got the zero oh. boost. But with a lot more boost, the Chronic finds himself diving down the pitch and emerging butterflies from the orange net. A rare evil genius has overcommit. It was Catalyst and he was too close to the play. Tried to get a bump on the Chronic, but couldn't quite do it. And the Chronic is more than happy to take the easy goal and just get themselves back in this one. So Liquid, oh, also you can get half a touch here, gets a block on Rizek. This is going to be clean for a Chronic. Can he get one of these no. beautiful... Stop no. Yes, he can! And it goes all the way in! A piece of magic keeps Team Liquid in the series! Team Liquid drop the Chronic Bomb and they remove EG from Wasteland. An unreal shot! keeps them alive in the series and the dreams in the quarterfinal continue to burn on. Atto's off again, gonna change his commit, but Frizzex is clearly there first. Yeah, decent touch from him as well, just to float the ball towards where Ivan was. Now Catalyst can show that evil geniuses, they can redirect the ball as well. Does he want to go for this ball or leave it for his teammate, Catalyst? It's his teammate, he leaves it for a chronic, he can redirect Good this fate. ball. He can just, oh. he can just let, it, let it go in. I mean, a Chronic got it anyway. Oh, touch. A Chronic managed to get that touch anyway. I don't know how important it was. I retract my high-pitched voice, Dumpy. Actually, actually, to be fair, it slowed it down that little bit, and it meant that Ivan, although I imagine with his touch, it might have been... So we could force game seven right here, right now. It's over the top. Ivan can't quite get a touch. A Chronic is there. It's at the post again. <laughs> and Ivan isn't able to get his big old Fennec underneath that ball. 
We are going to game seven. Team Liquid on the cusp of the three games. Devastating their passes can be and their changes of speed and pace. After he gets a nice little first touch. So is just watching him, daring him to do something a little bit cheeky. Falls to Ivan Atto. I love that. Going for the bump and the demo on his way out as well. Just continuing to try and make evil geniuses blink. Insects winning that 50-50 will try to avoid it for now, but actually, oh! from Atto, it goes in from nothing. Managing to snipe from that right-hand side, catches the defender off guard. Lewis catches him on that side wall, actually jumps off to try and get the save, and then flips sideways very long. All of them, but evil geniuses somehow keep it out of their net. That is the defense that we herald here in Europe. It is dirty, it is scrappy, it is fought in the mud, and yet it is oh! effective until you stare down the barrel of a chronic. A chronic has been the liquid carry this series. Another sublime flip reset and a bump as well. Oh. At the end of it, see you later, Ivan. Daylight emerges between these two teams. There is still time for... E Final two minutes remain. It's two up so far, but a double commit coming in on Evil Genius. Goes central, Catalyst to shoot, but Oski, worldy pre-jump. Yeah, this is also huge as well. Overall for the major and speedings. That one is oh. the crossbar again. Catalyst is oh. it in. It's the crossbar again. Oh. Rizex tries to poke it on the rock. Does get a save, but it falls devastated. They're laughing and Chronic's laughing. I love that reaction. I would be yeah. crying. I... <laughs> oh, look at this. Save the fate in this series. Can they bring it back versus the evil geniuses? Oh, lovely pass there! And the Chronic, the man of the match, if you ask me, was on hand to put it away, finish this series off. The comeback is completed, and it's the Portuguese the most important goal of them all. 20 seconds for Evil Genius this season to not just end here, to finish it off in this split. <laughs> A on the road isn't quite able to. The final 10 will see Evil Geniuses scramble. It will see Liquid manage to secure that win. They continue to fight on through this bracket. And will be facing the win.